So are we live? All right. Hey, what's going on? I don't know if anyone's here, but uh, I just got my new computer, so now I can stream. Man, this looks like fucking shit, doesn't it? <clears throat> I don't even know what we're going to be doing today. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna be drinking though. Uh, drinking this bitch beer. Alright, let's uh... I think I have this set up so I can see chat, yeah. <sighs> the harbor? <laughs> oh, Stuart. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> I don't really know what to do. Uh, we can play video games or something. Uh, you guys gotta let me know how the sound quality is. When I did a few recordings earlier, it was kind of uh, quiet. It might still be kind of quiet. <laughs> I wouldn't be wearing a hat, but uh, I don't want to spend money on a haircut right now. My hair looks like shit. Fuck, my hair looks like shit. <laughs> yeah, my name is actually Fate. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Um, this is basically why I'm streaming. Uh, <laughs> I can't make money off ad revenue anymore. In fact, I haven't told this story. I don't know if anyone wanted to like hear that whole story or... It's like, it was a couple months ago. It happened to me the same day it happened to Base Shaman. I woke up and checked my videos, because, you know, when you're making money off videos, you check them every few seconds, trust me. <laughs> and every single one of them was yellow. So I had to go check my email, and it's like, they sent me several emails where people are just like, oh, uh... These 40 videos were suddenly found to be not advertiser-friendly, and it's like, you know, they were all green, because... <laughs> I mean, you've heard all of this from Monkey Jones and all that. It's like every single one of my videos, yeah, 100% of them, and it's just like, since then I haven't been able to monetize. Every single video is just... That's why I get so fucking pissed whenever I upload, because I have to remember... <laughs> This situation, you know? <clears throat> but that's basically it. I'm not really expecting to be remonetized, but you know, we're gonna we're gonna try streaming and stuff. I'm not gonna stop making videos either. I do that because I like to. <clears throat> yeah, YouTube has been have you guys been on Twitter lately? It, it feels absolutely apocalyptic how many channels are just being taken out right now. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. I, I like making videos. That's why I do it. I'll have to... I, I don't know if there's going to be a special tomorrow. I could... Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. 
And sometimes I'm down to earth. <laughs> Not always. Well, there's been different types. A lot of channels have been... Like, what they did to me was just demonetize every video instead of demonetizing the channel. Which means that I can make, like... I, I can make, like, 200... Almost 200 bucks a month off YouTube Premium. <laughs> and please don't tell me at least that's not... <laughs> or at least that's something, because, God, I hate hearing that. <laughs> it's not enough to live off, you know? <clears throat> Can you mod me? Um, are you, are you the admin for my Discord? If so, then yes. If not, then I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'd be doing okay making uh, <laughs> less than three hundred dollars a month if I lived in North Korea or something. Dude, <laughs> James Tomlin, thank you so much. Of course, I know your name. You've been here for friggin' ever. <laughs> I really appreciate the help. Yeah, okay, so you're, you're splatter shot then. Let me, uh, just a second. I gotta... I've never streamed before, so I'm trying not to show my information or anything. Let's see, is this easy? Add moderator. Oh yeah, that's that's quite easy. All right. I don't know. We could play games or something. I was thinking I'd browse Reddit. Um. Oops. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Samantha. I <laughs> really appreciate it. That is my inaugural stream. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm not really that picky with haircuts. I have a history of letting my friends who have, like, no ability to do it just cut my fucking hair and it looks terrible. <laughs> I don't mind too much. It won't look as bad as it does right now. There's an eclipse? <laughs> yeah, I had a mullet when I was a kid, you know, because my dad did. I don't think I'll ever be doing that again. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, if I own a hat, it's because I saw it at the store and was like, oh my god, this hat is so fucking stupid. <laughs> my hair looks cool. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. I, I can't stand it, but... Yeah, I was just about to get a haircut, and then suddenly my channel got demonetized, so that's how that goes. Um. Any more incel stuff in the future? That, that one's kind of rough. I'm not sure if I want to upload incel stuff to YouTube anymore. They've made it pretty clear that they're not going to put up with that. So, I might even delete the old videos, but I'll re-upload them to uh, either Twitch or Pornhub or something. You know, it's, it's not going to make me any money, but I might as well help people out like that. And, you know, I would have, uh... I would have covered Legbeards more often. It's just not really that easy to find the stories. Yeah, I think, I think incels are really a dangerous subject to be going on about right now. <laughs> from what I heard from Shaman, we actually got demonetized over MGTOWs or something. Um, I don't want to delete my old videos, but I might have to upload them somewhere else. Uh, I don't have the files anymore. They're on a, they're on an old computer, but I think I could just download them again. Doug, can we, can we discuss school shooters? It sounds like they don't like that subject too much either. Thank you, Walter. I know your name's not actually Walter, but... 
No, I appreciate it. <laughs> Who's going to complain if someone gives them $2, huh? What was my MOS? My MOS was 13 Mike. I'm hoping not to have too many questions about the military, but... Ah, Pornhub. Thank you, Mandalorian, for the donation. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Pornhub has a really, really, really shitty CPM, so it's not like a place to make money, but... You know, at least they're not censoring people. And they've shown themselves to be pretty cool in the past, I think. Didn't Pornhub, uh, do some, uh, April Fool's jokes and shit? Y you see, my big problem with, uh, YouTube is that I don't think they've thought this through well enough. Like, there are, there are advertisers that would benefit from, uh, being put on edgy content that would want to, you know? And instead, they're just like, oh, nobody would want to be put on this fucking video. Fuck this guy. <clears throat> yeah, I hope to see Pornhub not censoring, because... <laughs> I don't know, just think about it. It's fucking ridiculous. This is also the first time I've had a computer that can play modern games in a long time. <laughs> yeah, maybe I will make an incel video soon, but it's probably not going to be hosted on YouTube. Because <laughs> what they've done to me is really shitty, but uh, <laughs> they could do worse. I, I could definitely lose the last $150 a month I'm making. <laughs> Ah uh, yeah, yeah. See you, James. Thanks for thanks for showing up. Th thank you for the thank you for the donation. I really appreciate this. It's helping me out a lot. Uh, hopefully, I figure out how to stream a little better. I I'm kind of out of sorts. I've been thinking about doing this all day, and I just this is the point I've gotten to my, myself to. Do we do we dab in the year of our Lord two thousand nineteen? Let's uh let's see which mode do I want to be in here? Yeah, I won't be able to see the chat uh, while I'm looking at stuff exactly, but. Hey guys, look at this. Uh, apparently someone showed up in Reddit Tales of Neckbeards and just started spamming child porn. Which is also something I shouldn't be talking about, probably. <laughs> but I guess that happened. It's a good thing I'm not on there right now, because I don't want to stream anything I'm not supposed to, but... New subreddit, uh... What does it say? ISIS Nice Guys? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, I was thinking about covering incel posts on my stream, but they have uh, they have porn ads at the top of their site. I mean, I have ad block, but I, I'm still a little uncomfortable with streaming at the moment, so. Yeah, people ask me if uh, Neckbeard's got pissed at me. No, I don't think so. <laughs> they do. They do, Kate. Um, that was one of the big things originally. I found that putting any of the Neckbeard posts about Lollicon made it really hard to monetize my video. So even back then, I didn't use those posts. Nick? <laughs> I thought YouTube just lets you change your name. <laughs> I haven't I haven't decided to do it in a long time. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. 
uh, Queen Emily. It's, it's hard to read the names. I maybe should uh, mess with my interface here a little. <laughs> yeah, I like Chad and Stacy would show up for my stream. Chad and Stacy, Stacy and Chad, winners of the genetic lottery. That that was a that was a real special scene, <laughs> by the way. It's kind of like SVU just did their research by going on the incel site and then took everything like at face value. <laughs> we're just getting what we're owed. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's been a long time since I've uh, covered incels regularly, though. God, should I put on a fucking fedora or a trilby or something? I got that shit. <laughs> the dimensional merge. I don't think it's happened yet. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I actually read through uh, Chris Chan's Twitter until it wouldn't let me the other day, and wow, what a year. <laughs> Alright, this, this stream's about to get a lot cringier, by the way, because uh, uh, we're putting on a trilby. I think it's a trilby. Do I have a waifu? No. <laughs> No, I'm just here alone. I managed to use this screen to cover uh, the entire background so you don't all yell at me for having a messy room. That's always just the funniest comment that people always fucking leave. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, I don't actually own a katana, so I guess that's <laughs> that's a plus for me, right? <laughs> I do own a Trump mask, though. You guys want to see the Trump mask? Leave my nest, but you can't see it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's uh, it's Trump time, right? It's uh, Trump and a, a trilby. There we go. This was my friend's mask, but uh, it didn't fit them, and I have a fatter face, so. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of fucking scary, isn't it? <laughs> it's like Trump with a stroke or something. <laughs> alright, alright. <laughs> Whew. So hey, no worries. Uh, people are <laughs> people handed me some money. I can probably go get a haircut now. <clears throat> I wish I could wear this around more, but I think if you walk into a store with a mask of a president, you might get the cops called on you because. People like to do that when they're robbing banks and shit. <laughs> oh, I like anime. Um, I like manga a lot, but anime is kind of time-consuming, so I'm less into it. There's no way I can make the Trump face look attractive. <laughs> I am 32 years old as of, what, last week? I just did my birthday special. I 
I didn't even know there was an Eclipse. Man, I, like, right around the time when I started my YouTube channel was one of the only times I took an entire week off. And have I ever watched Dragon Ball Z? Yes, yes, I have. <laughs> and I actually went to, and saw the solar eclipse, and that shit was fucking awesome. <laughs> we went down to, like, the, the desert in Oregon. And if you know me, I am really into, like, uh, space and that kind of stuff. Well, thanks, thanks for showing up, everyone. Um, yeah, I'm not done or anything, but what should I do? Go over to Reddit or something? Oh, Christian being married to... Um, yeah, I know my video asked, is Christian delusional, but yeah. Yeah, Chris Chan is in, what is it, a four-way marriage with uh, Krizzel Rose Chu, who I don't really know anything about, Magichan Sonichu, and Mewtwo from Pokemon. Isaac Arthur's channel. No, i never heard of him. Elliot Roger? Uh, I don't think I have an Elliot impression. <laughs> you guys ever see that picture that I took where I... Uh, where I uh, went into the Starbucks with Monkey Jones' uh, <laughs> book and a MAGA hat <laughs> and said my name was Elliot. <laughs> I was pretty proud of that. Chris Bird, thank you for thank you for the super chat. Um, my MLS was thirteen, Mike, uh, MLRS crew member. So yeah, that's artillery. But I never actually did like the job, you know, because, like, everyone's MOS was 13 Mike at the unit, but a lot of them never actually got into the vehicles. I was driving a platoon leader around, I think, most of the time. <laughs> Pretty fortunate. <laughs> it was a lot less work. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, there's going to be streams. This is, like, something I could do, because, like, I don't really have the ability to make a video every day. They just... They take too long, and I can't come up with enough ideas. Like, it takes me four-plus hours to make a video, and... But, you know, if I don't feel like I can come up with something for a video, I could just stream, so... <laughs> That's something, right? <laughs> me too. Oh. Co-oping story with fun with failure. Um, Fun with Failure and I were in the same video for, uh, Rafaela Viola, actually. Who's not a particularly big channel, but she's gotten, she's gotten a lot of these people to, uh, to do voices for. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna work on this streaming thing, I don't really... There is an option to monetize the stream, but YouTube doesn't want me to monetize clearly, so I probably shouldn't try it. I'm just going to try to fly under the radar. Solomon, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. I, I hope I do, too. Um, we're going to look at some Reddit, and I don't know. Eventually, I might even play some video games. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not advertiser-friendly. In fact, am I tall? I'm uh, about six foot one and a half, I think. <laughs> Do you watch any anime? Thank you for the super text. Um, or super chat, whatever it's called. Um, what which anime do I want to recommend? Okay, so there's this manga called Kengan Ashura, and it's about to get an anime, and this is going to be big. It's really good. It's like a... 
It's probably better than Baki so far, but... <laughs> But that doesn't mean it's better overall, because the longer a series goes on, the harder it is to keep it good. <laughs> Ooh, do I play any video games? I've been playing Tales of Berseria, which is also weeb bullshit, I think. <laughs> Thank you, Morgan. Um, it's my pleasure. Um, I started making videos because I thought that people should... Uh, Uh, they should be educated on incels because only a couple people had ever made videos on incels when I started in, like, summer of 2017. And I felt that I had to educate people, but I kept doing it because it was fun. <laughs> it's kind of addictive to grow a channel. Oh, yeah. You guys want to see my incel shirt? I know I've showed this off before. This is the one that Teespring decided to uh, not sell anymore because it's too offensive. Thank you, Gordo. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I hope so. I uh, I wanted my videos to like sound chill. Like the way I make them is kind of like how I like videos to be. I think the fact that I add background music actually like loses me viewers, but. <laughs> I kind of like it, so. <clears throat> Goblin Slayer? Goblin Slayer kind of just makes me wish I was watching Berserk. Not gonna lie. <laughs> have I... Yeah, I guess most people never have seen me live. I, I used to get on camera, and it's like, if you're in my Discord, I used to go into uh, voice chat a lot more often... You know, when I wasn't so worried about money. I, I was having a lot more fun back then. You know, I have actually cultivated a pretty, uh, a pretty chill following considering that I'm a cringe channel. <laughs> the comment, comments on cringe videos are usually, like, more toxic than they are in mine. <clears throat> Hmm, what do we got here? Huh. I wanna watch I wanna look at Florida, man. <laughs> the ukulele music, I used to use that a lot. I haven't in a while. <laughs> I'm sure you've noticed. <laughs> um, so, I kind of asked people if they wanted me to keep using music, and it mostly came back yes, but it, but I only asked on Twitter, and it's like, I only have 600 Twitter followers, like, the people who follow me on Twitter are probably the ones that really like my videos, so. So instead of cutting out the music altogether, I decided to just use more neutral music, and that's what I've been doing for the past couple weeks. <clears throat> Have you listened to Filthy? I don't think so. You think neckbeardism leads directly to inceldom? It could, but a lot of these guys aren't, like, unaware enough to know that... God, it's like they're not even unaware enough to become an incel. Okay, well, about my fedora. Okay, well, this is a trilby. My mom gave me this. Uh, my fedora actually goes to a suit. I could show you that, too. the other one's a lot more comfortable. <laughs> my mom watches my videos. I don't think she entirely understands the nice guy thing, but <laughs> she was trying to make a joke about it. 
My mom actually has a nice guy story. I just haven't gotten her to write it out yet. Ugh. Yeah, this doesn't fit me so well. I've just got too much hair right now. Kate, uh, thank you so much. <laughs> That's another one of the names I see all the time. <laughs> you should do a full neckbeard costume for Halloween. I tried, and it turns out that I'm incapable. I, uh, stopped shaving for like three weeks, and I couldn't take it anymore. I had to shave. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not very good at having a beard. <laughs> Send me your hair. <laughs> You know, Chris Chan did that once. <laughs> or a bowler. Bowlers are pretty bad, too. I think I find trilbies to actually be cringier than fedoras. I do not. I don't know if you... I didn't mind when I was, like, much younger, but, uh... I think after getting out of the military, I just couldn't stand facial hair that much anymore. References list. <laughs> yeah, you could try, but if it does if it gets you like uh not hired, not my fucking fault. <laughs> Do I come across many incels and neckbeards IRL? I don't know any incels, no. I can't even imagine that someone I actually know is a virgin, because I don't think any of them are. But, you know, I'm I kind of... I'm not that young, you know? <laughs> you know, back when I was in, I had a mustache. That's probably hard to imagine, too. <laughs> it is nice to not have to shave, but it's like I can't handle the full beard. Do I know any nice guys? Um, they do exist. I, I don't know that any of my friends are nice guys, but you know my friend Ellie. She was in one of my videos with me uh, a long time ago, a nice guy and nice girl video. She runs into these guys all the fucking time, so they're out there. <laughs> any of your own nice guys? To I've never been a nice guy. Um, I know I said that I've done cringy things in the past, but I, I was not a nice guy. I've never been nice. <laughs> I certainly never prided myself on it if I was. <laughs> Do I have any pictures of me with a mustache? You know, I actually... Let me uh look for something real quick. Oh, you guys are going to fucking love this. Or, we can have the chat here, I think. Yeah, burn this into your retinas. <laughs> this is... Um, three of my closest friends and I, when we were like 12, and then we took the same picture again when we were like 20. I hope I had that on the right thing, right? All right, okay, cool. I, th I think I did that right. <laughs> you like the more neutral music? I'm glad. I, I kind of like it, too. Um, sometimes it felt really jarring when I'm talking about sexual assaults and just have, like, the cheeriest fucking music in the background, you know? Because <laughs> that has happened before. <laughs> Say, did someone look like me? People have told me I look like Macklemore. I used to believe them. I'm not really sure anymore.
I think I started with the neutral music in that. <laughs> Did anyone watch that video about AGDQ? That one only got like a 50% like ratio. <laughs> Do gamer girls exist or not? Nah? Well, I know a lot of girls who play video games, so I guess. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anyone would be offended by uh, happy music over stories like that, but like... It, it is kind of weird. I, I understand that. <laughs> Hiring an editor. You know, I've had a lot of people uh, offer to edit for me, but I think what we'd find is that people like the videos the way I make them. I mean, that's why they're here. If I, Every time I put someone else in one of my videos, which I've done like twice, people don't like it. <laughs> they really don't like it. Resident Evil 2 remake. You know, I I might play that. It, it it was one of my favorite Resident Evils, yeah. Back in the day on PlayStation. <laughs> Thank you, Hemsworth with Keenan. Is is this uh like the guy that I know? <laughs> Make some videos on TikTok. <laughs> that doesn't sound like Walter Fate to me. <laughs> oh, you like the you like the screenshots? I do too. Um, I know some of them aren't really. There's not really like much of a point in putting pictures up, but it's it's extra editing effort that other people don't go through. So, by the way, uh, how is my sound quality? It, it sounded a little quiet compared to my videos, because I'm not right next to the mic. I guess you can turn the sound up, but... As far as fan art goes, I've gotten a lot of really good fan art. <laughs> I'm not sure which one's my favorite. It might be this one. <laughs> this was the shit. Because I like the 80s. But, yeah. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> what is Vaporwave? <laughs> I've, I've listened to a lot of Synthwave. We'll just put it that way. It's kind of funny that we're better at the 80s than we were in the 80s. It cracks me up. Because every year we have 80s day, which is uh, the day before Christmas Eve. And it's like, we all get together and have this big party at my, my friend Jamie's house. And we just play 80s music the whole time. Except <laughs> we've been playing a lot more synthwave than actual 80s music the last couple times. <laughs> so what's the difference between vaporwave and synthwave then? Ooh, any collabs with Bass Shaman? I'm a little worried about collabing with people. I don't want to, like, mess up someone else's channel by putting my name on it. He got himself remonetized. I mean, it's not really up to me. It's more up to him. I, <laughs> maybe, maybe my name isn't quite as cursed as I've been telling myself. Do you like Vaporwave? Do you like metal? Okay, so I like every genre. Uh, you, you probably notice that people who are especially vapid like to, like to say, I like all music except for country and rap. And it's like, dude, fuck that. Country and rap are like two of the best genres. It's even good if you put them together. Uh, I kind of like every genre... But also, 
there's genres like crunkcore, and uh, I I don't know what to crunkcore is. It's not good. Who is your favorite band? Yeah, I've never known how to answer this. You could ask me if I like someone, but I really am not sure what my favorite band is. My most disliked genre. I think crunkcore should be everyone's most disliked genre. It is... No, there's actually stuff that's even worse. Have you ever heard of danger music? It's not even really music, it's just a bunch of noise. <laughs> it's like a performance art thing. You show up and then they fucking do all this ridiculous shit, lighting stuff on fire and driving through walls and stuff. Yeah, I was, I was really into punk rock when I was in, like, high school. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is I could actually show people my band, our reunion show, but every time I do that and don't mention what it is, people are like, wow, this sucks. And it's like, yeah, I know, whatever. <laughs> so I don't think anyone actually wants to hear it. <laughs> show you? Alright, how does this work exactly? It's just going to pick it up with my mic? I, I don't know how good that's going to sound. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll find that real quick. Just a second. I'll switch to this, I guess. Whoopsies. Yeah, it's a good thing I did that. Yeah, I'm trying not to show you my Twitter feed, because, like, tits show up in it sometimes. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, cocaine is expensive. This is the song I'm best known for writing. We were really fucked up when we did this reunion show, though, so... Yeah. I wish I could check my chat while I'm doing this, but, uh, we'll get a dual monitor set up eventually. I'm just not quite there yet. You know, the thing is, I was the bassist and lead singer, and I've never actually owned a bass. I was using someone else's. <laughs> I wish I still had that Mike's Hard Lemonade shirt. I like that. Oh my god. We, we went out to the parking lot and drank a half gallon of whiskey with one of the other bands before we went on. <laughs> 
it was really fun. Unfortunately, our drummer didn't show up, but we, we found someone to do it. <laughs> God, it's kind of it's kind of depressing, really. the The guy who was the guitarist in there. Kirk Bernard explained I wouldn't pay him unless he made it. Uh, get the fuck out of here. The fuck? <laughs> I'm not gonna run someone else's ads. <laughs> um, yeah, the guy who was the guitarist is a really good friend of mine, but he's in jail for. He's he's gonna go to prison for a while. It's it's not good. <clears throat> I used to love going to shows, but I'm you know, I'm older now. <laughs> a lot of my friends still like going to shows, but I'm always like Hey, I'm just going to stay home and make a YouTube video instead, so... <laughs> I've never had, uh... Or, I'm not going to say I've never done cocaine, but I've never had a cocaine problem. <laughs> oh, get the band back together. That's impossible. Um, the drummer doesn't want to do it, and the guitarist is in prison. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I want to do it. <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of fun while we still did it. I want to be rapper. You know, I tried to write rap a few times, and I am really fucking bad at it. <laughs> Which is funny, because I'm good at writing some things, but not that. <laughs> Age demographic? I'm not really even sure. We wrote most of this music when we were still teenagers, but that show was obviously after that. It was after I got back from the military. By a couple years. Was it gonna... Was it gonna save this stream so people can watch it later? I don't know. I might also, um... I might also stream to Twitch. I'm not really sure. I thought this is probably the best choice, though. This is where I have subscribers. <laughs> but, you know, YouTube has been not great. Invader Jill. <laughs> you, you're one of my patrons. Thank, thank you for that. It's really helpful. <laughs> Same age as your little brother. I'm the oldest, actually. <laughs> my youngest brother is uh, 27, I think. Show titties on Twitch. They actually don't let you do that. Guys used to do shirtless streams, like Caleb Hart did it every fucking time, but, uh... They decided that that wasn't okay. Um, because they wouldn't let women stream in a bra, so they're like, uh, well, I guess we won't let guys stream shirtless anymore. And it's like, was it really offending anyone? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> let's not be... <laughs> let's not be sexist here, I guess. <clears throat> I mean, if I was running the site, I'd probably say, just let everyone stream topless. Who gives a shit? Yeah, I appreciate the patrons. Can you stream shirtless on YouTube? I'm not sure. Um, does everyone follow me on Twitter? Because you would have seen me shirtless pretty recently. I, uh... Got in the lake on the morning of January 1st. It was... It wasn't too bad. It was 35 degrees up. It's something I like to do every year, but... I think I, uh... Drank too much and didn't wake up last year, so I had to do it this year.
I, I would show you on Twitter, but there's a chance that porn will come up on my feed. And we don't want that. <laughs> I'm not trying to get in trouble already. I want to be like Mango and uh, get banned for passing out on stream. <laughs> Hmm, what is happening on Discord? Let me, uh... So, not too much, I guess? The hell is this video? Why did this come up after... Well, I don't know. Um, all right, so, uh, who wants me to notice them? Uh, I notice you. It, it's just hard to read the names sometimes. <laughs> the fedora doing it for people? <laughs> this is the trilby, actually. The fedora is a lot less comfortable. <laughs> I could, uh, I don't know. What? Who's free? Well, I mean, I had two nipple piercings at one point, but then one of them just, like, worked its way out. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when a piercing rejects. It just, like, kind of goes through the nipple. It doesn't really mess it up, either. Is there a real difference? Uh, fedoras are bigger. But I guess the biggest difference would be that I actually have a suit that goes along with this thing. Why is there... <laughs> fake hundred dollar bills in this? <laughs> I had to blame my mom for that one too, but... <clears throat> uh, yeah, it does work its way out. <laughs> I was... I was just in bed, and then suddenly I held up the, the piercing. It was just like, oh, hey, I guess that's gone. My girlfriend's like, what the fuck? <laughs> but I guess that's how it works. I don't know. My piercings all give me a bunch of trouble. I don't think it's... I think it's, like, because I have a good immune system, and it really wants to fight everything I do to it. Actually. But, yeah, it takes me, like, six months to heal a piercing. It, my body gets pissed. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I didn't mess up the nipple too much, but y if you were looking for it, you'd probably be able to tell. <laughs> I don't know, I can look up stuff. This is going to be unfortunate until I get a dual monitor set up, because I'm not going to know, like, what's happening in chat while I'm, uh, looking at things. Oh, do you have any tattoos? Actually, I'm one of the only people I know that doesn't have a tattoo. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think me, my friend Thomas, and my little brother are probably the only people I know that don't have tattoos. Well, that's the only piercing I have left. <laughs> a trans stamp. Yeah, I just look like someone who should do that, don't I? <laughs> I pierced my own bottom lip. Yeah, I used to pierce my lip with a safety pin in the middle of uh, class when I was in high school. And people are like, Jesus, did you really just do that? And it's like, God, it doesn't even hurt that bad. It doesn't even bleed, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Any plans to get a tattoo? I don't know. I never really came to a choice of what I wanted, I guess. 
I find them kind of expensive. Mm. I'd probably get something really simple anyway. I should get a Q-Star tattoo. I think Q-Star should get a Walter Fate tattoo. What are you talking about? <laughs> a full box. Yeah, yeah, right. I was a wuss in elementary school. <laughs> I got over that by the time I was in high school. <clears throat> God, Q-Star's got to be having a good time right now. He got his channel monetized. It's like, he gets like 10 times as many views as me. It's not outside the realm of reason to think that he could be making 20 grand a month or something. I haven't actually asked him or anything. What do I think of other Reddit commentators? You know, I don't really watch other people's videos that much anymore. Yeah, some of them are pleasant enough. <laughs> I, I didn't really mind Slazo, but... Isn't he, like, fucking 15 years old or something? <laughs> I know, I'm exaggerating that a little bit. Come on. <laughs> you can watch Q-Star. I don't, I don't mind. <laughs> We'll probably collaborate on something again at some point. I don't know. Geofilms is fifteen. Really? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know that. I didn't. I didn't even think Slazo was that young until I heard he was like fucking eighteen or something. But. Birthdays in April. <laughs> Kids toys. Uh, you know, Q-Star did that thing. I mean, Shaman did it too. The thing that I'm not willing to do where I stop saying fuck or like cover it up or something. It's like, that's not what I want to do. It makes me want to just be like Mr. Beast and just put out a video where I say fuck for ten hours straight. Because I'm like... <laughs> I don't know, I like to butt heads with people, and I want to butt heads with YouTube. <laughs> Do you think Shaman was wrong to give in to the incels and give up making incel videos? Um, yeah, that's a good question. <clears throat> I mean, I guess Shaman said some things that he wasn't really that proud of. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't have apologized for it. I, I've i never told any of the incels to go kill themselves, but if I did, I wouldn't apologize. I, You know what? If you leave um, bitchy comments on someone's YouTube, it's like usually they just ignore it, but every once in a while you wake up and you're in a bad mood and it just hits you at the wrong time and you got to tell someone to fuck off. <laughs> so I've probably done that to a lot of people. I, I don't do it too often, but it happens. Overall, my comments are really positive. I appreciate it. <laughs> Not that I don't want any criticism, but the thing is, a lot of the time I'll put out videos, um, he told, uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, I didn't see it, but he mentioned it in his videos. I'm not, like... It, people might be thinking that I'm a little more politically correct than I am. I'm, I'm not exactly politically correct all the time. 
I, I have pretty strongly formed opinions that I've gotten from going through life. The moon's turning red. Man, am I really streaming through this? I should I should go watch it. Fuck. Space is so cool. I thought the I thought the full moon is uh uh tomorrow though. What's going on right now? It's weird that people pay any attention to me at all. I was just some dude before this. <laughs> Blood moon, red moon. Yeah, I heard like a fucking something ridiculous sounding. Uh, it's like a blood super wolf moon or something like that. <laughs> Blood moon. <laughs> Oh, you know what? As bad as things are going right now, if I look back a year in the past, they were much worse then. Okay, I might have to go more than a year back, but... <laughs> Last December, I made about $230 in ad revenue. Now I can do about 150 <laughs> Uh With five times the views, yeah. Oh, hey, it's Colin. Yeah, you really have this thing against MGTOWs, don't you? I probably should, too. I heard that's why I got demonetized. I don't know if that's the truth or not. <laughs> See, the thing is with YouTube is, uh, you could just put out ridiculously good content sporadically and grow a channel, but... Really, your best bet is to just be consistent. People will show up, and they will respect you as long as you're a hard worker. I've made over 200 videos. It's, it's been a lot of work, but it's fun. All right, I'll see, see you later, Ricardo. You want to check out the moon? I should probably go check out the moon, but maybe maybe I'll be on for a bit longer. <laughs> okay, I know this is my stream, but let me go look at the moon for a second. I'll be right back. <laughs> This is kind of a cloudy area. <laughs> yeah, I left. <laughs> I had to go give it a look at least. Did anyone else here actually go to see the solar eclipse? I know everyone, like, kind of saw it, <laughs> but if you actually go to see the totality, it's completely fucking different. Yeah, it was a lot of work. I had to take a week off YouTube and everything. 
<laughs> Solar Eclipse was last summer, I think. We're getting another one in 2024, but will I go to Texas to see it? Maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, solar eclipses are way the fuck cooler than lunar eclipses. <laughs> There's just no other way to put that. We had a 95% happen here, I think, but... I, you know, I, I thought I'd go a couple hundred miles and just see the entire thing. It's likely I'll go, but it's not like I can know what I'm going to be doing that far into the future. Just like this, these past... This past time on YouTube has been completely life changing. If I manage to make enough money to live again, we'll uh we'll be doing all right. Oh yeah, the shadows were pretty cool. Um, what was it? It's like it's like everything's in like a certain shape, right? Would you ever screw a dude if you got paid over a million bucks? I'd probably do anything for a million bucks, because that means I wouldn't have to do shit anymore. I don't really care that much. <clears throat> I should, uh... Oh, where did that wiki go? <laughs> read some Reddit. Yeah, I could read some stuff. Uh, what, do, what do you guys want? We, we can go over to Reddit. We can even play some video games next time or something. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I have, like, that much of a Steam library here. I lost my account a bit ago. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Chris. <laughs> I'll go out and get a drink after this is over. I don't think I actually need to. I already went. <laughs> I really appreciate the support, though. <clears throat> nice girls, huh? I've got a couple, uh... I've got a couple reddits up here. I don't know if you guys were aware, but I'm trying to get people to use this. I think QSTAR is trying to help me. The only problem with that is I have no idea who this moderator is, and they have no idea who I am, so that, that could get to be a bit of an issue in the future. Should I, uh, should I read this? <laughs> yeah, James, um, if anyone wants to send me games, I could probably play them on stream, depending. You send me hentai games, I probably can't do it. I think they have that on Steam, but <laughs> don't, don't send me that stuff. <laughs> <clears throat> So a million's not... I don't know. I just don't need that much money. Like, before I got demonetized, I was only making, like, 1800 a month. It was going up pretty quickly, but... But I'm only renting a room. It's a really good thing that I didn't move out right before that. I was about to. <laughs> uh, and get an apartment, and then I would have really been fucked. <laughs> <clears throat> Is 
Is a million dollars selling yourself cheap? Read it. All right, let's try. Losing most of my friends over a nice guy. I am a 19-year-old girl, and this happened to me a year ago. At that time, still had a lot of trouble meeting and talking to people due to a few bad experiences. I was just starting to come out of my shell a bit after meeting some people on my school bus. I got close to a girl who knew this guy who I'll call NG for obvious reasons. I'm guessing because it stands for nice guy. NG seemed to have trouble talking to people, so I tried making an effort to talk to him since I knew from experience how it was to be like that. That turned out to be a huge mistake. And at first he was fine. We spoke a bit about our common interests and realized that we both liked gaming. And... what is that? Breath of the Wild, I think? After that, every time I took the... The bus, he said... Is that Breath of the Wild? I don't, I don't know what they're trying to say. <laughs> I took the bus, he sat next to me and talked to me. And he only talked about gaming. Sure, I like it too, but he would only talk about that. Every time I'd try to talk about something else, he'd say that wasn't important slash interesting and go back to what he was talking about. So in the end, I'd just listen to him and didn't say anything else. <laughs> how does this guy not notice how awkward that is? Then summer vacation came and he kept texting me. At one point he asked if we could get lunch together to talk about video games. Since I was uncomfortable being alone with him and didn't want to send the right message, I said that it would be great with my twin brother too, since he also loves video games. He agreed and I thought it would be fine. Except he insisted to go to McDonald's, and I can't eat there due to various health issues. He refused to go somewhere else, and not wanting to cancel, I told him that he could eat homemade pizza at my place. It was meant to be a few hours at most. Something rather simple. When he arrived, the pizza wasn't completely finished, and my brother and I were still putting the toppings on it. NG kept whining and said that he wanted to play Mario Kart on my Switch. I told him that we would do that as soon as the pizza was in the oven, but he kept trying to get me away from my brother and play together. I refused, and he started pouting. <laughs> it's gonna get cringy, right? Then we played some, and he started getting bored, but every time we'd suggest something else, he'd turn it down. He ended up staying seven hours, and I almost had to force him to go. After that, I realized that I had to change something and respond less and less to his messages. It worked, and by the end of summer voca vacation, we no longer spoke. I started college that year, and he was still in high school, so we no longer saw each other. I thought it was over until a friend invited my brother and I. What we didn't know was that NG was also invited. On that day, he told me that he was feeling suicidal and that he could only hold on thanks to me. Gotta hate that shit. I felt like that was extremely exaggerated, but I felt bad for him, so I tried to support him because I had similar experiences. And that was when it turned sour. He started calling me at all times, so much that I barely had time to talk to my friends anymore. After a time, he even started hinting that he had never had a girlfriend and asked if I ever had a boyfriend. I should have handled things differently, but I said I had Since he never asked me outright to be his girlfriend, I never turned him down, although it was pretty obvious. I was just not sure whether he was really interested in me, because I'm really not pleasing to the eye, to say the least. God, people get... <laughs> people always get pissed in these stories when the person talks about how pretty they are, but I guess we're uh, subverting that trope right now. It all came to an end when I was supposed to meet up with my friends. He would also be there, but after a while, most of my friends would be leaving. Since I share most of my friends with my twin brother, he was also coming along. He had offered to bring me on his scooter, which I accepted. NG then called me again and said that he was eager to meet up again. He then asked me if we could get away from the group after a while to go somewhere where there would be no one. At that point, I was really creeped out and said no. When he asked me why, I said that I didn't want to leave my brother to wait for me and drive me home, which was also true, but not my first reason. NG laughed at this and started mocking my brother and family. My brother and I are basically attached at the hip, and although my family isn't perfect, at times they were the only people I had at my side. So I took this very seriously and then hung up. Then I wrote him that I couldn't tolerate that kind of behavior and blocked him. And I thought that my adventures with NG were over. I was so wrong. He had apparently started complaining to all my friends, sobbing about how I had hurt him. So I started getting angry phone calls from them. They never even asked my side of the story. No one did. I kept two friends for that group of friends. Thankfully, I made some new ones, but I know that NG has still been spreading rumors about me. I don't care much about NG anymore, but that happened. But what happened still hurt me a lot, since I was finally opening up to people again. At least, I have found and kept some real friends.
Yeah, so this, uh, uh, what do I have to say about this? I should, I should, like, bounce stories off of, uh, my stream chat to figure out what to use in videos, probably. This one was actually pretty uneventful, but this... This bullshit. I'm feeling suicidal, and this person that I barely know is the only reason I'm holding on. It's like, is that believable? I fucking think not. <laughs> the nice girls. Let's check out incel tears. <laughs> you guys, you guys know incel tears, right? It, it might actually be cringier than the incels themselves. <laughs> I feel like, huh? oh. I think my dog's walking into my door. Do you guys want to meet Teddy? I probably know the answer to that. He's, uh, he's getting a little old. He's blind. How often do I plan to stream? I'm not sure. I could probably do it fairly often. I'm not usually doing too much. It's just... It's hard to explain if you haven't made videos regularly. Coming up with a new idea, and it's like... If you cover the same thing every day, it gets stale really quickly. Alright, alright. Let's find Teddy. Teddy. Come here, old boy. Oh, look. It's Teddy. He's old, but he's still a good old boy. He's still a pupper. Yeah, I think people like you, Teddy. That's a good boy. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty nice. <laughs> of course, he's a purebred Yorkie, which means he's got health problems, basically. The way we breed dogs is kind of just irresponsible, I guess, but... <clears throat> the thing is, he was supposed to be a teacup Yorkie, but they're not actually a different breed. Like, it's just random whether they're small or not, so the, so the person who was supposed to get him didn't want him. <laughs> He's 12. Which is around their life expectancy. <clears throat> What kind of content do I want to... <laughs> yeah, that's what annoys me a lot of the time. It's like, when I put out a video, it's not the stuff that's popular on my channel. I think the classic Something Awful videos are probably my favorite to make, and they get a lot less views than anyone else. So it's just like, I'll make something that I really like, and then someone... And then people will show up and be like, why don't you just stick to neckbeards? And I'm like, fuck, come on. <clears throat> I want to do, yeah, deep dive internet stuff, kind of like Justin Wang. Not the same format, but the same kind of things. But good, I know there are people that enjoy the Something Awful videos, and... <laughs> Make a Teddy video with ukulele music. <laughs> Teddy's not... He's not that good on camera, like, he usually manages to avoid it somehow. I just didn't give him the option this time. <clears throat> oh yeah, did anyone like the lightning? Because that shit... I, I love that shit. 
And it's about to get a lot better, too. <laughs> Why did I stop? I haven't officially stopped making it. I just... I like to, uh... I like to get my numbers up first before I release a video that's not going to get very many views. Otherwise, the algorithm gets pissed at me. <laughs> And I guess the algorithm um, favors content that's monetized, but I've never noticed it to make a difference, actually, so I can't really confirm that or anything. <laughs> yeah, Teddy's gonna do what he pleases. <laughs> yeah, the lightning is great, and it's about to get better. Uh, this is really obscure, by the way. I, I also like the fact that... Uh, no one else is going to be reading this fucking story because it's from like 2000, what did I say, 2009, and it's only like a four-page thread. Like, it wasn't even big when it happened. Uh, Diego, hello. Uh, Rosanna, hello. It's good to see everyone. <clears throat> I don't know how long I'm going to stream for, because... Because eventually I'm going to have to go smoke this joint. Yeah, it's probably kind of crazy to other people. Because I remember when pot was illegal and it's like, I could just walk to the store and just fucking buy a joint. It's really cheap too compared to when it was illegal. YouTube won't let you monetize. Okay, I'm not sure about the neckbeard stuff. Now, I, I talked to Shaman about this. He had to delete some of his videos to get remonetized, basically. Thank you. Thank you, Error. <laughs> I appreciate the, the super chat. Smoke it on stream if you... I don't know if I can, but I wouldn't. <laughs> I, I feel like being left alone after I smoke pot, so uh, let's not do that. <clears throat> I mean... Alex19 smokes up on a stream all the time on Twitch, but, you know, YouTube's stupid, so who knows. <laughs> yeah, we've got, we've got $2 joints, and they're like, they're like a gram each, so that's pretty great. What's with all the windows? This this is just. I could uh. Set myself to this, but. Then I wouldn't be able to see chat, right? Oh. <laughs> hey, there's 56 people watching me. That's not bad. <laughs> It's like lagging behind, I don't know. Damn, that smells dank. <clears throat> I appreciate the support and No, I'm not I'm not in Cali, I'm in uh Washington. But the entire West Coast is uh has legalized pot now. It it's legal in, in every western state. No, I'm not in Cali. Uh, I do have their hat, though. Ugh. Fucking hell. No, I didn't set my camera back after Teddy came in. Put a shoe on your head? I am actually old enough to even understand what you're talking about. Do people still say that? Well... Mm. Weed's the only thing cheap in Cali? No, their booze is way the fuck cheaper than it is in Washington. Um, every time I go through there, <laughs> gotta stop and buy a couple half gallons, right?
I like the West Coast. <laughs> oh, it looks bright because my light's on. Um, it is 9 p.m. and it's completely dark outside. <laughs> it has been for a while, so. Do I have a gamer girlfriend? No, I don't have a girlfriend at all. <laughs> I know, the next question's definitely going to be, Walter, are you an incel? And it's like, why do people still ask me this? <laughs> I'm 32 years old. How the fuck could I be an incel? I'd be a wizard by now. If I was a wizard, I would be off just, like, fucking people up with my magic powers, right? I, I went outside to look at the moon, but it's really overcast here, so... It, it, I could tell that it was red, but it wasn't great. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh my god, the cost of living in California. You know what? I'm not paying for a house, but... The cost of living is ridiculously low here. I think that my mom's house payment's like $550. Which is like, you you go as far as uh, Tumwater, and it's like, just to get a shitty apartment, it's like $1,200 a month. And it's like, way worse in Seattle, and even worse in fucking San Francisco, yeah. People are moving from California to Seattle, and it's like, Seattle is so expensive. <clears throat> I've never been to Idaho, no. I almost went once, but, you know, we were just driving through to Montana. Two K a month? Is is that for a shitty apartment or Missouri? I've never been I've never been there either. Okay, so I can I can tell you where I've been. Um I didn't really leave the state until like I was an adult, so then of course in the military I Yeah, I have been to Portland, that's for fucking sure, but Um I did my basic training Fort Sill, Oklahoma. I ended up in Georgia eventually, and that's about it. <laughs> Cali has to pay for bags. We have to pay for fucking bags. Um, not in my county, but if you go to Thurston County, yeah. And it's shitty if you're someone like me. I don't drive. So it's like, oh, let me just carry this fucking paper bag across town in the rain, you know? It, it, things were a little easier back when they were plastic. From from Latvia? I I know very little about that. <laughs> Phil and Ted's excellent adventure. Did anyone see that video where I uh, mispronounced Socrates and said Socrates? There were so many comments. <laughs> People hate it when you do that kind of shit. I was I, I thought that people would see it as a, a Bill and Ted reference, but maybe I was the only one who thought that was funny. <laughs> Reduce plastic waste in the ocean. Yeah, I have a friend who was really bothered about that shit because, like, the turtles or something, they got these sad videos of them, like... pulling plastic out of this turtle's nose, and turtles are... turtles are cool, you know? So crates, come on. <laughs> uh. 
Yeah, this probably isn't the most interesting thing in the world. I should go back to Reddit. Well, th thanks for showing up. It's, uh... <laughs> It's been real. I, I have no idea how long I've been streaming. Probably not that long. <laughs> you know, I never, I never wanted to be a streamer. I, I really had fun making videos. I'm gonna keep making videos, by the way. But, <clears throat> but it's kind of weird to be streaming. This guy was taken into police custody? All I wanted was a girlfriend. Not 1,000, not a bunch of hoes, not money, none of that. All I wanted was to be loved, yet no one cares about me. I'm 27 years old, and I've never had a girlfriend before, and I'm still a virgin. This is why I'm planning on shooting up a public place soon and being the next mass shooter, because I'm ready to die, and all the girls that turned me down is going to make it right by killing as many girls as I see. That's a Facebook post. <laughs> For an hour and a half? Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. The 27-year-old. Actually, let me let me uh go find something real quick. I know I tweeted this out the other day, but uh Anyone know this song? Um, let's see, where are we at? <laughs> I know it's I know it's bad, you don't have to tell me, but This guy would be pretty pissed that I'm playing this song on my stream. <laughs> yeah, this hasn't been on there for a while, but it's Stephen uh, Stephen Coates um, from who was on to catch a predator. So this song is complaining about thought crimes <laughs> because the guy's a goddamn pedophile. Showed up at this house. <laughs> yeah. And this guy is a total bitch about it, too. Not that I wouldn't expect him to be, but... He, uh, has copyright claimed Mr. GG, like, multiple times. Not that he has any right to do that and it's gonna stick, but he's done it. Doesn't this just sound like the kind of music that... the 13-year-old girls are fawning over, by the way? <laughs> It was only a thought he wouldn't have been caught. Yeah. Yeah, the crime was, uh... The crime was having that chat in the first place. Oh, yeah, Chris Hansen. Um, he's not doing well. Th thanks, Ryan. I appreciate the support. I know, I only put out one video this week, but, uh... I think tomorrow is, uh, Martin Luther King Day. Is that the kind of day when I should put up a special video, or is that going to be insulting? I'm not really sure. <laughs> Understatement. Yeah, so Chris Hansen, from what I understand, I haven't watched any of the videos about it, but he actually bounced this, like, $13,000 check buying fucking merchandise. Like... <laughs> I don't know, like, like who the fuck bounces a check in 2019? Like, who's gonna take a fucking $13,000 check? It only worked because he is Chris Hansen, right? <laughs> oh, man, come on.
Oh, I have no idea how to stream. He's in jail? I thought he... God, I didn't think they'd keep him in there. Shaman's video. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. You know, it sounds weird to hear it for me, but I'm not really the kind of guy who watches videos about things that much. I like to go read about them. That's kind of why I make videos, I guess. I would imagine that he's not in jail, but, you know, bouncing a check for $13,000, it might as well be grand theft. That's not, not something you should be doing. He's trying to restart the show. Yeah, you know, it's kind of weird that he had to kickstart it in the first place. It's like Chris Hansen had to take advantage of Kickstarter. And then the new show wasn't as good as the old one either, so. I did like the first episode of Hansen vs. Predator, but I don't know that it was as good as, you know, the original. Yeah, he should be let out. I mean, he's going to... I mean, they'll, they'll get the money from him, as far as I understand. <laughs> yeah, Chris Hansen's pretty great. What, no hug for me? <laughs> you know what's been cracking me up lately? Uh, Soldier Boy. Uh, every time I think I understand how stupid that guy is, he gets worse. He's not a kid. He's like in his late 20s. And his level of understanding of like copyright law is just... <laughs> I, I don't know. Worse than what I would have thought in first grade, probably. I'm not that smart. <laughs> what did he do? He's selling rip, ripped off game consoles with fucking Nintendo games on them for like four times what he bought them for and just putting his name on them. Also, then he went and talked shit about Kanye West and Drake and called himself the hottest rapper in the game, so I had to go look it up and it's like, his last album was released in 2015 and I've never heard of it, so... I do not have headphones on. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think Soldier Boy's gonna go to prison or anything, but the thing is, he's just lucky that nobody bought his fucking console. Because <laughs> uh, he would have gotten in a lot worse trouble if he made more money off it. <laughs> I feel like Soldier Boy was a one-hit wonder. I don't remember if that's the case or not. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, he's an idiot. And then, and then did you see what he did? <laughs> he called everyone who was making fun of him on YouTube a bunch of faggot nerds, and it's like, oh yeah, now people are going to buy your game console. Good job. <laughs> yeah, some people did buy it. A couple, you know, people bought it to review it and make fun of it on YouTube, but... Wait, the people who bought it, it wasn't even fucking delivered to them? That's that's great. He was already gouging them on the price. <laughs> this is like a whole new level. I, I feel like the guy's just trying to stay trending at this point. He must think that like no publicity is bad publicity, so he's like, hey, let's just talk shit about Drake and Kanye, who are both like <laughs> way the fuck more prolific artists, right? So... They never got the product. <laughs> so it's like he's ripping them off and then ripping them off again. Not that they care. These people on YouTube made money off of this, trust me. <laughs> These videos do pretty well, but...
<laughs> yeah, did you see that where he said that he had made two hundred thousand dollars, but he forgot to edit the sales, so it said, "Oh, two hundred thousand dollars off seven sales." It's like, <laughs> what, what pisses me off about people like that is they think everyone else is stupid. They just treat you like that. Nintendo is like infamously litigious, Lit litigious, whatever the word is. They 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 love to sue people. Uh. They send cease and desist to fan-made games that aren't being sold all the fucking time. Like, way more than they should, in my opinion, but... They're not the ones you want to mess with. They'll, they'll sue your ass. R. Kelly's trapped in a closet? What's that? I've been hearing about R. Kelly lately. Did he, say, he do something shitty again, or... Did he just never stop being shitty? Twitter keeps trying to get me to follow Chris Brown, too. I don't fucking get that, but whatever. How does Chris Chan get away with it? You know, I have wondered the same thing. I think even Nintendo realizes that they wouldn't look very good picking on this severely autistic guy. I, I think if it was anyone else, they would have sent a cease and desist or something by now, but I, I also don't think Chris would have listened either, so... Yeah, Soldier Watch. It's like even Apple can't put out a coherent fucking watch, right? <laughs> What's Soldier Boy gonna do? Look, we have a we don't use watches anymore. We've got one. It's called a fucking phone, right? Actually, I don't have a phone just because I'm a fucking weirdo. But yeah, it's gotta be that even. <laughs> oh, the Christian, the Christian dimension merge. There were a couple people that really wanted me to cover that. I know Shaman covered it recently, but yeah, I also know that my my research is a lot better than what Shaman does, so the pro people probably want to hear what I have to say about it. Um, <laughs> it's it's weird. Gloss over the fact that I don't I don't need a phone. I barely leave the house like ever. <laughs> Soldier Bra. Really? Someone else doesn't have a phone? Yeah, see, I don't have a phone. Uh, my mom actually doesn't have a phone either, but I don't think I know, like, anyone else in existence who doesn't. And if so, they'd probably be a douche and talk about how they don't have a phone all the time. <laughs> you know, like, people used to be like, I don't even own a TV when they're trying to sound smart. But what they don't realize is that TV is not really that much worse than, uh, than books. It, it does stimulate your brain. People have always thought that it doesn't, but I, I kind of disagree. Good television can really make you think, you know? <laughs> I'm also poor, so that doesn't help. My phone is my entire life. You know, the thing is, I'm just, I just don't leave the house that often, so it would be kind of a waste of money. And the soldier computer. Yeah, he's a fucking idiot. Okay, so I think one of his consoles actually isn't, or doesn't have bootleg games on it. But he's still just buying this piece of shit from China, and then just marking it up several times. Hey, uh, Glory Hull, um, hopefully you, uh, got a better view of the moon than I did, because it's pretty cloudy out here. Uh, I'd show you guys if I could.
There's actually something I'm going to cover soon. I don't, I don't know if it's something you guys would be interested in or what. I think I told my Discord last night. Has anyone ever heard of XJ9? He was like a League of Legends streamer a long time ago. He was on Destiny's stream, basically, which is never a good thing. You, you saw what happened to JonTron. So, I don't think you really have to know anything about the game, but basically he really hated the champion Lee Sin. He thought that his kit was just, like, way too overpowered. And, yeah, there's a lot of power creep in the game. It's He's not exactly unfounded. This, this guy, his girlfriend, um, played Lee Sin while she was streaming, so he decided to release her nudes on his public Facebook page. And just wouldn't stop defending himself about how they... He's just like, oh, well, we both did things that we shouldn't have. You played Lee Sin and I released your nudes, and it's like... Fuck! <laughs> Destiny talked to this guy for like six hours <laughs> on stream. And just, uh was calling him a terrible person the whole time, and he just... <laughs> the, he only took down... XG9 only took down the pictures because Destiny said that he would dox him if he didn't. <laughs> you can find the pictures of his girlfriend on the internet still. I, <laughs> I'm not going to recommend you go look up this poor girl's nudes or anything, but, like, you put something up like that, it's never going to go away. Yeah, I, I'm thinking about making a video about it. That's why I'm talking about it. It's just a big slog, because when I said that it's like six hours of Destiny talking to this guy, it is. And I'm going to have to look through it for the highlights. We'll get there, though. This guy was just so toxic that basically Riot was like, we're, we're never letting him back. Fuck this guy. We don't, we don't want his drama. Yeah, he, it's, so it's like... XJ9 is the name of the character from some show about a teenage robot or something. I, I've never actually watched it. But it has it has a strange fan following, so... As you can imagine, this guy is also really, really, really into My Little Pony. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's gonna be a lot of work. The GDQ video is a lot of work, too. But the highlights are really good. <laughs> yeah, my life is a teenage robot. That sounds right. The the main character is XJ9, and she's... Uh, <laughs> As you can see, the fan art can be a little weird. I probably should have made sure there wouldn't be any porn in my search, but thankfully there wasn't. <laughs> yeah, he named himself after that because he was really into that show. Now he's really into My Little Pony, and while Destiny is telling him, no, you're a terrible person, there's no excuse for what you did, he just keeps trying to compare it to My Little Pony episodes. Yeah, it was exactly like that uh, that episode where uh, Twilight Sparkle decided to release Rainbow Dash's nudes, right? We, we all remember that one. It's a classic. Fuck. <laughs> Do I understand it? Um, I don't know. It's uh, it's kind of quality for a kids show, and it has a lot of adult references in it, I guess. However, if, if I were to say it's like if you wanted to watch My Little Pony, I think Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends is just a better choice. I know, I'm going to piss people off by saying that, huh? Fairly Odd Parents. I, I didn't really watch that much of it. What was my What was my favorite? Ed Ed and Eddie was the fucking shit. I'm all about that. It's 
God, I hope Fairly Odd Parents isn't still around. <laughs> How many times would they have to jump the shark by now? He contradicts himself constantly, too. Like, he goes on during that stream about how, uh, he hates people who waste their money. And then about 30 minutes later, he starts laughing about how he spent $3,000 for a hat in RuneScape. Which, I can't think of a worse way to use your, to use your money. Uh, you could light it on fire, it'd be better than that. I, I'm not sure what exactly is wrong with this guy. Something must be, but it doesn't excuse a lot of the things he's done. I probably won't stick around too long. A am I getting close to an hour? Uh, or two hours? We'll wrap it up at two hours, I guess. Um, I think it was a pretty good stream. I'll have more to do next time. This is a bit of a test. <clears throat> Fairly Odd Parents is still around? Well, <laughs> must be pretty old by now. Hmm. Ed, Ed and Eddie was really good, but it... <sighs> the newer seasons weren't as good. I don't know if they were bad, but, like, the entire aesthetic was supposed to be, like, a summer vacation or something, right? So when they added school and and didn't add any more characters, it was just fucking weird. Admittedly, the graphics got way better, but the, the shitty animation in the earlier episodes was kind of charming. I don't know. <clears throat> The merge. Maybe I'll deal with the merge. It's so bad. Like, do you know what this merge entails? It entails 40% of the people on our planet dying. And Chris just takes it all nonchalantly. And, of course, Chris Chan would. Because you've seen what Chris Chan does when he thinks she thinks someone dies or whatever. Uh, <laughs> just like, oh. But doesn't really process it. I just want to see how long Chris Chan is going to string people along about this merge and before deciding, oh, maybe it's not going to happen. Is this going to go on for like 10 years? It might. Sonichu's gone on way too long. I actually, I do enjoy Sonichu. I'm not saying it's good, but it's hilarious. So, uh. Oh, yeah, Gino Samuel's making videos again. I I think I heard that. I will definitely be watching. Ugh, good luck with him staying monetized, though. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if I make a Chris Chan video, I'm I'm going to use uh feminine pronouns. That's just <laughs> It's just what I do. <clears throat> Samurai Pizza Cats. Man, that was on at like 4 in the morning back when I, uh... Back when I was a child. <laughs> Johnny Test. Ah. Uh, Johnny Test is unfortunate. <laughs> I don't know, it's okay. I, I don't care what other people call Chris Chan, it's just people always try to correct me on it, and I'm just like, I'm just gonna say what I'm gonna say. Because <clears throat> I don't really care whether someone's a man or a woman. Like, the most important thing to me is that I might as well just call them what they want to be called, because otherwise you're saying fuck you to their face all the time, so it's like...
<laughs> Johnny Test was awesome. I saw someone point out the fact that it's like a gender swapped uh, Dexter's Lab. But Dexter's Lab was really fucking good in the earlier seasons, and I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, by the way, I still say Chris Chan because she's actually said that she doesn't care if you say if you use the name Chris Chan. I mean, Chris is a gender neutral name for people that allow it to be, but <laughs> this is someone who is obsessed with their internet fame, so you can't can't just drop your name, right? Bananas in pajamas. Yeah, I know that one too. It uh wasn't stellar. I mean, it was for little fucking kids. I mean, what could you do? Yeah, Dexter's Lab was Dexter's Lab was great, and it had a great movie too. I, I really liked the movie. <clears throat> That makes me think, though. So, uh, didn't they, like, finish, uh, Samurai Jack? I, I think I went and watched, like, the first new episode and it was good, but I just never got around to it. Thank you, Camper Supreme, who is also one of my patrons. <laughs> can we all take a shot on stream? I can, I can chug. I don't have any uh, hard alcohol. I finished it last night. <clears throat> Should I chug some Natty Rush? I can do that. Are we going to sleep soon? Yeah, I'm going to take off pretty soon here. I actually have to... I'm going to put out a video tomorrow, so i got to get to work on it. Probably won't be using that story I read earlier. Uh, I want to look for a better one. <laughs> Do you like to cuddle? Doesn't everyone like to cuddle? It just depends on who with, right? <clears throat> and yeah, let's have let's have a chug. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I went back and watched Johnny Bravo semi-recently, and it is still really fucking good. Uh, Johnny Bravo is definitely one of the better ones. <clears throat> Ready to chug more? <laughs> Johnny Bravo was... was something special, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Um... I bought some games that I haven't been able to play until now. Anyone tell me, uh, The Witcher 1 and 2, are those pretty good games? Everyone was talking about the third one, but I got these for like two bucks a piece, so I just had to. Oh, yeah, yeah, um... Uh, let me, let me find something real quick. I don't know if anyone remembers this. It's 
see if I can get my sound to turn up. The speakers suck. At the time, I didn't know who Reverend Horton Heat is, but it is a very strange band to be featuring on Cartoon Network. It's awesome, though. Yeah, yeah, it is Reverend Horton Heat. And it's, it's so surprising to see this, you know? <clears throat> Who are the two people who disliked this? <laughs> Cause fuck them. Oh, did you really? That's awesome. Uh, yeah, I've ever heard he's pretty great. <clears throat> it's just surprising to see this on uh, Cartoon Network. Man, that is one hell of a fucking bass, isn't it? <laughs> oh, shit, it's gonna start playing something again. Of course it is. Uh, cancel. Fuck, let me change my settings. Play it again? Let me play it one more time. I'm probably gonna go after that, though. I will if I get the chance. Um, not that I make it to shows too often anymore, but but you know, Seattle is Seattle is actually a really big place for touring, so it's not like I can't. <clears throat> like how I always use the same song for my videos. That one's called Moonshine Town, by the way. It's in the YouTube audio library. Do you see Mandark just looking, like, really confused? Just like, what the hell am I doing here? <laughs> I'm gonna see this. Oh yeah, this is... <clears throat> this is my admin. Uh, feel free to show up to, uh... My Discord. Oh, I'm not in Seattle, but I'm close enough. <laughs> oh, it's like a blast from the past, man. <laughs> Yeah, I know, Mandark's name being Susan. I, I like it because it's like a, you know, it's a Johnny Cash reference, but it's... <laughs> Alright, so... I think I'm going to call it a night, and, well, either make a video or smoke some pot, maybe both, I don't know. <laughs> Thanks to everyone for showing up, uh, it was my first stream, I think it went pretty well, so. If you want to show up in my Discord, I'm usually there. Alright. Good night, everyone. There, there will be a video tomorrow. I, I promise. Don't take that too seriously, but uh, uh, hopefully. <laughs> Good night.
Oh, have I ever seen Rocco's Modern Life? Fuck yes, I have. We'll we'll talk about that next time.